What's up, YouTube? Today, we are making assumptions. What's an assumption? We all have one. Ass. Anyway. Out of these 10 men, how many do you think have cheated on a partner? Definitely you. All of them. All men do is lie. Why am I lying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at you. Guilty, I swear. It's the haircut. His name is probably Jacob, too. Starts with a J. Doesn't matter which one. Any of them, actually. Hi, my name is Lily. I grew up with a lot of girls, but I have more guy friends. I actually was a tomboy. Hmm, it's a black party at Lily's house. <laughs> I like, played sports, I did football, I did volleyball, I did tracks, oh I even tried wrestling. I want to say I was a bro. My name is Talaya. She's been in the bro I locker rooms. I have a few straight men in my life. Um, my most big important one is my dad. My name is Michael, I'm an actor. It doesn't I'm count. gay. I've been friends with a lot of straight guys growing up. Actually, he, no, I haven't been friends with- Why do you feel the need to say that? Straight guys growing up. I was bullied by straight guys growing up. So I think that's why I know straight guys so well. So, we'll start off strong. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get into it. Here's our first step. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> a recent survey found that 78% of women aged 18 to 34 have received an unsolicited explicit photo from a man. Who's doing that? Is it you? Yeah. It's not me. While only 17% of men admit to sending one. Okay. <laughs> That's admit. Genuine question. I don't know why guys sent pictures. I'll look at it and be like, ew. And block. Out of this apple size, <laughs> uh -huh. how weird. many of these men do you think have sent an unsolicited dick pic? Let's see him. This guy. No, this guy. What you meowing at? Yeah, you. I'll edit that out. Definitely you. <laughs> Why me? Because your eyes. I feel like oh guys, no, God. I'm being dead as guys with colorful eyes tend to be like, oh, you know what? This ankle might look good. I've came across your type and it's not a bad thing. You know what I mean? Like you. He probably has. Look at his fucking face. They call that a shit eating grin. Get around. <laughs> okay, I don't say I get around. I mean, well, I don't want to say, I'm sorry. I'm I don't want to say get around. I don't think you have. You look nice. <laughs> You're a little angel. I just look at you just like a little angel. What's your name? Mark. Huh. Okay. <laughs> You look innocent, but you're not. You. Damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> she shot me I'm with sorry. that one. Like the little cuss in the eyebrows. Like, mm. you know, you could have been like, oh, good morning, babe. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say you have sent it. Yeah, it's the chain and the stash. That might be the stash. The stash is new. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking I like the mustache. I it's new, but I don't know. I think mustaches are in. I don't think you. You look too chill. You look, you're like, you know, if you want to send me something, sure. But like, I'm not, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You look quiet, but behind the, the curtain, you're like very like dominant. And like, here's my dick. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking that. Oh, Bro. Are you into anime? No. Okay, then never mind. I don't know. But for me, mo some of the guys who watch animes tend to be like, want to role play a little bit. Yo. So they're kind of like, okay. That's the first time I've heard that. Who the fuck are you talking to? I'm like, action figure, here you go. Oh. You know what I mean? I, I don't know, that's uh. just how I see it. I chose, some logic you. This I chose crazy. you. I chose you. I'm sorry, my guy. <laughs> I chose you. I'm sorry. I, you know what? I'm about to pick you. You might be up there. I don't know. I'm choosing you. Everybody. No, definitely, definitely, and maybe. I'm going to say both of you have sent them as well. If you. They said 17% have sent one. You get 70%. Stupid bitch. 
have sent an unsolicited dick pic, please step forward and share your story in three, two, one. Four. <laughs> oh, damn, all right. Motherfucker. I knew it was Brock. I was going to say him, yeah, but I didn't. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, if, you say, if we're talking on that know. type of time, I'm not going to lie. You might say, good morning, handsome. I already know. Bless your phone real quick. You know what I mean? When they say unsolicited, I thought like, oh, yeah, just you send it to a random girl. But when you said a girlfriend, I'm like, oh, I mean, that good makes morning, sense. Babe. Because, like, she's seen it already. So it's mm -hmm. like, if, if I'm sending it to her, I'm obviously use the blur or whatever. So she'd be like, oh, shit, look at that. Racist. She's like, oh, I need that right now. Oh, okay, and it's so like, she was like, good morning, babe, right back. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a present. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, I like that, I like that, okay. <laughs> Has anyone ever just never sent a dick, like, even, like, solicited? Whoa. Oh, so I was right never? about him being nice. You never sent a dick at <laughs> no, all? No, never. Never. Oh, nice. never, I get scared. Never. What if we get never to leave? Yeah, I'm not having that shit of me on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> are you, do you have a reputation to worry about? Yes. No. Okay. It's just... You just you don't know. want it out there. I yeah. got it, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting that shit from me. <laughs> you can see it in person. <laughs> if you had to guess the percentage of men who have admitted to ghosting someone, what would you guess? I would literally probably say like 20%. 30%. 35%? Why An online study dick revealed pics? that 44% of straight men admitted to ghosting someone. Oh, I was close. 25% of men admit to doing so after having slept with someone. Wait, 25%? That should be higher. I would say more girls get hit on by guys than guys get hit on. She's had experience of that. <laughs> by girls or other people. So I would say that girls are mostly ghosting guys and guys kind of take what they could get. Out of this sample size, how many of these men do you think have ghosted someone after sleeping with them? Mm. Definitely him, bro. He's giving off the F-boy vibes. With the 2016 skinny jeans on. Um, he's wearing sunglasses inside. Definitely him. Um, what other assumptions can I make? I don't know, bro. You're active. Dick pics, dick pics. You're all straight, right? Okay. That's like literally like a show. <laughs> <laughs> hey. huh. Why is it me? <laughs> you look like someone who I talk to. Like, you're just like, I'm not interested. Ghost. <laughs> you. For sure. You have the eyebrow slit. <laughs> Your style, just the way you carry yourself. Kind of like F-boy, you know, F-boy vibes. Appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you say thank you? Appreciate that. <laughs> That's four. I think you probably did. Boy. That damn chance. I'll chain. say it proudly. <laughs> You already know too. It's just kind of like the whole Hooper and everything. So yeah. Um. I think if you fit this statistic, please step forward and share your story in three, two, one. Oh, still four. I, I was two for four. I was two for four. Prior to ghosting somebody to, before sleeping with them, I have because you know girls look good when you approach and then when you talk to them, it's a different yeah. dynamic. So you for know. Sure. Meeting a girl, it's not there, it's over. Yeah. After I have, you know, they talk a good game, it's gonna be this, it's gonna be that, you get in the bed and it's like, oh no, yeah. you gotta so you go, gotta do you, you gotta, do. gotta go, cause <laughs> I'm honestly just sex is a big part of a relationship regardless. I'm like one of the worst texters in general, like even with my parents and stuff. Me too. So it's more just like, I get caught up in my head. But it's really bad to ghost people and I'm very sorry. I don't do Okay, I'm a bad texter. I'm gonna not reply for a couple hours. You have to intentionally ghost somebody. What the fuck is he on about? There's no way. Oh, it's been seven days. I ain't texted you back. I'm so sorry. Shut the fuck up. Do it on purpose. I so like it. Sometimes Liar. I'm just a bad texter. <laughs> and I'm just like, ah, oh, like, I miss your text. I'm like, I'm doing something and things come Missing up. Missing a text is not ghosting. I'm an effective communicator. Are if we didn't say, oh, we're stupid? dating, oh, we're not doing this, then I don't really see it wrong. But I do ghost on accident, I guess. You can't on ghost accident. on accident. <laughs> yeah, it's on accident sometimes. It's like, oh, I just missed a text. How are you a good communicator if you're just forgetting? And <laughs> <laughs> well, like, in person. Like, you caught me in person, and, like, I'm a good communicator. But, like, over text, I'm like, things come up and stuff like that. So I'm like, oh, I forget to text back. But in person, I'll tell you everything. I've had, like, a long journey with sex. He's giving me some fuck boy vibes. God damn. I have some stuff stemming from my childhood that kind of just mm -hmm. caused me to feel a it lot really of one. shame and I realized at a very young age I was kind of taught to not talk about it and I realize now you know after a lot of 
self-work and discovery that that caused me to it makes me feel you know, disgusting. treat women worse than they deserve and it always felt like this thing of like why am i not able to talk to them afterwards because i felt bad i knew it was wrong even when i would be doing it but yeah. it was just something that was like deep lying issues that right. i have since worked on now i'm very anti-ghost like you know, now it's like I'm all honesty and just make I sure I, I tell people. Wow, Thank you, you for know, sharing that. Yeah, he had it an takes issue. a real man to share something like that. Yeah, in he front had of. an issue. He knew it was an issue. He overcame the issue. True strength, right here. I a lot of people. You. Guys in the background, anyone at all? Has anyone here ever been ghosted by someone else? After sex? Just ghosted at all? Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think all of us. Oh, probably. we've all been ghosted, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> damn, damn. Everyone's had to be. If you had to guess just generally how many men do you think, like, regularly go to therapy, what would you say? Maybe like 13. Less than 5%. Less 10%. I want to keep it at 25. 10% of men, 10 One to 15% of men. One to five In the United States, only 18% of men. Oh. have used mental health services within the past year. I worked in mental health for a little bit as a part-time gig, and <laughs> it's there was... that. What was I don't know, I don't know anything. Part-time. <laughs> See, when Trey didn't think therapy. of mental health, <laughs> non-existent. <laughs> you thought it died. So, I, I, worked in, I worked in residential mental health treatment. Most of the time, it was a house full of women. There was, like, one token straight guy every, like, few months. Out of these 10 men, how many do you think regularly attend therapy? Two. I'm just gonna say two. I feel like you possibly I feel like I'm crazy. No, I'm just No, I'm not crazy. No. Like you know, like, trying therapy to work on look, self. Bro. Like honestly, I need to go to therapy to work on myself. No, you don't go to therapy. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 not saying that's a bad thing. I just feel like you got a lot of your day filled up with a lot of other stuff. <laughs> this dude was he at? This dude might have went because he had that one. <laughs> you might have trauma because Asian household, but we don't we don't go to therapy. We don't. I feel like you possibly go to therapy. You just seem, I don't know, like the little angel. I don't know what it is. You just seem like you would go to therapy and like really like sit down and talk to a counselor and everything. Although you do look, you give off like a little boy vibe, you do look like a nice guy, like deep down. So I'm gonna say you are open to working on yourself. I think you use sex as therapy. Don't give me fuck boy vibes. I, sleeping <laughs> around. Like a chill dude. Crazy. <laughs> that drinks a couple of brewskis on the weekend. That's him. No. Maybe not you. I say no. Because he reminds me of my friend's boyfriend. Just because of how they grew up, they don't use their voice. There's more of their fist. Ooh. So just, but I feel like you're not a fighter though. So I feel like you possibly got therapy. Yeah. I don't know if you have trauma or not. We'll see. But you look like it. <laughs> so not like that, but like you look like someone I know. I beat this bitch up. I'm gonna say you um, because you're quiet and it just looks like you've seen sh Beating the face off of her. It just does, see? <laughs> if you do it, attend therapy regularly, please step forward like the video. in three, two, one. Of course. Right. I'm a motherfucking oh, one. I'm oh, really I'm oh, sorry. I'm really doing this shit. This is crazy. Oh, whoa. Oh, fuck. Okay, just kidding. I attend therapy for like the past two years. Mm -hmm. I started after I realized, after my breakup happened, I started going a lot more. Mm -hmm. uh, because of what I've been through, because of my childhood trauma, I lost a twin brother. Um, Sorry. I got cheated on. Damn. It was time for, Damn. you know, and it's frowned upon, but I really didn't care. You know, growing up when cheated you do on. seek help, Crazy. especially therapy, it, it just makes you look weak in the family. Mm -hmm. You get used to like bottling things up. Mm. They don't want to do that. Yeah, that that's like, what my dad has told me before. Yeah, oh, it's weak, you can't cry. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Dad, you're probably going to speak Boys the fuck up a virgin one day. If you don't talk about it, get it out. Exactly. You got to talk to us. That's over 50s. here. That's why you got your family, too, and everything. But it's yeah. always better to go seek a therapist. Um, I actually was in residential, so thank you for oh, the work yeah. you do. For sure. Um, uh, ever since I was 13, I went to therapy, and I lived in a household where you had to be louder than everyone with your emotions. So especially like men, and specifically straight men, I was sort of pushed away because I was more like confident talking about my emotions. Um, and it was very isolating, very For sad. Sure. But as I grew up, I found a group of people who were really sweet about it. And mm. I think it's super found family and like really, really vulnerable with you guys to just to do it. So yeah. yeah. Well, you pretty much hit the nail on the head. I've seen some shit. Found family's so more important. Going to therapy comes from having Low been key. a cancer patient, current cancer Low survivor. Key. You know, just, oh, thank you. <laughs> what do you say, what do you say?
patient, current cancer that I've seen some shit. So going to therapy comes from having been a cancer patient, current cancer survivor. Ooh. You know, just oh, thank you. <laughs> so uh, going through like six months of chemotherapy, radiation, surgeries, brought on heavy depression as well as anxiety disorder. Um, I haven't gone just due to the fact that I think I'm a pretty strong, like, mental person. I know how to cope pretty well, and that's why I haven't gone, but I have no, they, like, I'm a psychology major, so I'm deeply in root with doing what you got to do for yourself, uh, your mental, all that shit. So get your therapy, whether it be physical, mental, I don't care what it is, get yourself correct, you know? So you, so, you don't think you need it? I think whoever needs it, they need it. But me, me as a person, I'm pretty strong mentally, so I don't, I don't, I don't really need it. It's usually those people that need it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, no, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. So I see why he's saying that, but for sure, for sure. Yeah, I mean, obviously, everyone could benefit from yeah, it. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, sure, most definitely. Sure. I feel like I know myself very well. Straight men could literally be so weird. They'll have one feeling and be like, fellas, is it gay to have emotions? Yeah, Do with you that know the rate of circumcision in hey, the United States? That one. I would say 80% is circumcised. 21%. It's I'm gonna play it safe and go low. I wanna say like 33. So in most European countries, the rate high. of male circumcision is around 20% or less. Damn. The United States? <laughs> Damn. Europe? In the United States, the rate is closer to 80%. Yeah. Oh, sh hmm. So we're out of the money. We don't like turtlenecks dick. around here. <laughs> yeah. Get your fucking cheesy ass turtleneck dong heaven ass away from me. I can smell it. It's 90 degrees outside. I can smell the cheese. I'm kidding. I don't. I don't know if you've ever watched this show called Naked Attraction. I was like, oh my God, no one's circumcised. It's because it's like in the UK. And I was like, wow, it's just in the US that we do that, that we strip ourselves of feeling. Because it feels better when you're uncircumcised, supposedly. Out of this group it's of not men, true. how many do you think are not circumcised? Well, let's take a look. <laughs> Go ahead and drop your pants. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. Drop your pants, drop your pants, drop your pants, drop your pants. I don't think you are. It's not a bad thing. I just feel like your culture probably wouldn't What's strip you of that. Yeah, what you mean right. by Culturally, that? like sometimes people that move to America raise What's their children, culture, and they're like, I'm not going to do that to my child. They think it's like bad almost to circumcise their kid. I don't know. I just heard and I just know that it's like very common in the Hispanic Latin community to be uncircumcised. I feel like guys who are active are like circumcised. You said active? Yeah. Uh -huh. For my <laughs> friends, they said that it's, it's more out there. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> It's more out what? there. What the yeah. fuck is she you talking get heat about? In the moment, a lot is what I was told. It's hotter. No, like, can I can I say horny on camera? Oh, okay. Oh sorry, yeah, sorry. yeah. Okay, I'm just, I didn't know if it was like. Oh, you can't, like <laughs> this bitch yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Honestly, I'm not sure about Asian countries, so I'm gonna say you're not circumcised, and you're not. I think you were. You look like an all-American guy right now. Just the flannel. It's the flannel. It's the flannel. Okay. You also, with the varsity jacket, you're very, like, Americanized. That's what I'm getting. So, like, I'm going to say you are circumcised. Uncircumcised. 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 These, these three here, and then... If you are not circumcised, please step forward and share your story in three, two, your story. one. Oh, sh oh they just kidding. Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so not circumcised. It's like, that just means it is what it is, like, the way how you're born, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm making sure it comes. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. As it comes. <laughs> <laughs> As it is. No modification. Put him up the street. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who the fuck Israel, this man is. Israel, can you talk a little bit about it? Uh... <laughs> that's just how I was born, that's it. And <laughs> I'll talk about it. I mean, nothing else was done. I talk about when it gets 90 degrees with that... Mm. Just live my just life playing, since, <laughs> I always thought it was like the other way around. I thought like we were all just like, you know, as since birth like this. <laughs> I didn't know that was a common thing. I didn't know I was on the other end of this. I thought <laughs> <laughs> I just broke talking about it. I thought we always be all natural. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> my family's from Mexico. Oh, so in Mexico just say it's the other way. The stat is that the majority of people are uncircumcised. Okay, so just family tradition, just, you know, don't do it. I know you're talking about cultures a little bit. I'm Jewish, and okay. it's a normal thing in uh, Judaism. It's called the bris. There's, like, a whole ceremony where your family gathers, which is interesting. Yeah, um, but I do sometimes think about, like, oh, I wonder, like, how it would feel if I was uncircumcised. Like, yeah. 
I just feel like it's dirtier if you're uncircumcised. For sure. I mean, it is. You gotta yeah. really clean it. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's that's my only thing. I wouldn't would never want to be uncircumcised. Can you add it after or no? You can't add like retouch oh. something oh, yeah. like a little. You can put like a little turtleneck around it. It's cute. If you had to guess the percentage of men who reported having cheated. It's hard to say because most of the women I know has been cheated on. So I want to say like, I think 55% of men have cheated. Like a crazy number, but it's high, like 73%. That's high. That's high. That's high. That's high. That's high. That's high. That's That's high. I already know who did. This man. This man for sure. Maybe him. He's been too quiet all episode. Him for sure. Him. That's it. Okay, I said I don't want to. I could have said 90 some percent. I would say openly admit it, probably like 45 percent. I think the actual statistic is probably like 85 to 90 percent. According to a Kinsey Institute study, nearly 25 percent of men reported cheating during their current relationship. Oh, wow. Okay. Women have their fair share as well, but yeah, straight men, when they're not happy, they tend to go seek uh, somewhere else. And I feel like. You know, why? You just tell me. I kind of think everybody cheats, to be honest, but I think gay men probably do cheat more than straight guys. Because yeah, I think women would bit, keep their straight bitch. men on a tighter leash than a gay guy would keep on his <laughs> partner. Men, they're just like natural hunters. I don't know, they're just Who's always on the prowl, on the looking for the next the prey. Fuck? Out of these 10 men, how many do you think have cheated on a partner? All of them. I think we have some nice guys here, but I think we have some just regular just guys. I'm gonna <laughs> you, for sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> you do. Yeah, he's bad with eye contact. He doesn't want to look me in the eyes. <laughs> Cheater. Definitely you. Why am I not? <laughs> Definitely you. I didn't even look at you. Maybe that's why Chew. I'm guilty, I swear. I mean, it's like the day in my life, so I feel like getting called on over and over, which is like it's already regular. So I was like, I expected it coming in here. I was like, they're going to call me for every... Every answer is like related to like, oh, he's handsome, so he has to do that. Or any negative thing was like, oh, it's probably him. I actually don't think you have. Nobody said you are You like look kind of like tough, we but said you're, you I feel like you're very bag. faithful. I just get that vibe. Sleaze Based on your bag. eye contact. No, no, just because you're a nice guy. We've already gone over this. This marks like explanations. I'm so and handsome. I of course I'm a cheat. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> the fuck? He's just like an angel to me. Can I just say that? Have you cheated? Have you ever thought about cheating? I'd be so mad if I was him. Stop. They're, they're angel zoning me. It's like, you got friend zone, you got brother zone, angel zone. Oh my God. <laughs> you, yeah, you're going to have to bother I that. I want, I want to think you're such a nice guy, but for sure you cheated. <laughs> I feel like you're quiet. Quiet guy tends to experience new things or want to like try to be like dip their toes out and try to be like, you know, I kind of be a fuckboy a little bit, but I don't. Model industry, I don't know. They have the little chisel face and everything. I don't know. No, you she haven't. Seven You're almost. too nice. No, I don't think you guys did either. I just get nice, good guy energy, like family <laughs> men. Energy. You definitely have. You thought about it, but you're like, oh, fuck. It's not a good idea. You definitely fucking cheat on someone, <laughs> I swear. You think you haven't, and you have. If you have cheated on a partner, please step forward in three, two, one. Got two of them. Oh, okay. It was less than I thought. I, oh, I know. You're disappointed in Don't me. Don't look at me. <laughs> so mine was a, a four-year relationship. Um, be honest, I was down in some debt. As a man, your pride is like, nah, you know, I want to pay for shit. Like, come on now. Like, I got um, an email offering me so to- So you're in debt. Your girl's helping you out, paying your bills. And then you fucking cheat on her. This dude's crazy. Do something, and it was her some money. I was going to pay off the rest of my debt with that money, take my girl on a trip. You know, my intentions was good, but I shouldn't have did what I did. It was on camera, on video, and that's where they got me. One day, she sent me a screenshot like, is this you? And I'm sitting here like, gang, that's me, but this is the real, this is the reason why I did it. Try to pour out my heart, you know, explain. You feel me? Like, it was the principle behind it, I swear to God, was be good, you feel me, do good. But it was just like, I was young, dumb. You're forgiven. And free. Fast money. It just yeah. wasn't worth it. All right. All right. So I'm 24. So my I can say from 20 to 24. Mm -hmm. my, my intentions on cheating on you were pure. I promise. I didn't mean it in a bad way. Are you fucking stupid? What? 20s? Nah, I haven't cheated. I've been a one girl. But high school, 
damn. <laughs> Damn, and there was this fair at this other school, and there was this one girl who pulled up, and I was like, damn, you looking real good. But that's the thing, I didn't I didn't come to her, she came to me talking about, hey, what's up? I didn't even think about it, have it on my mind. She gonna get my chin, mm. just like that. Yeah. It's, it's literally been the girl's fault, because the second time, the girl kissed me too. I kept it going, I guess I escalated no, it. No, this man's a liar. There's a blame on you, y'all shared it. I escalated it, but okay, yeah, okay. that's the story right there. So she started it, mm -hmm. got it. We're gonna have you close your eyes and face down. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna grade her on how well we think she did. If you think Tay knows straight men, take a step forward in three, two, one. Hey, hey. Oh. Back, welcome back. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> we had everyone grade you guys and tally up everyone's scores. So I'm gonna tell you guys who know straight men the best. So tell me the men graded you and gave you a score of nine out of ten. <laughs> Bro, what? She was giving this should be like, oh, eight out of the ten of the people did this. And then only two of them did it. <laughs> they simply yeah. right now. Lily. I already know. Horrible. Lily, the men graded you. She did horrible. And you got a score of one out of ten. <laughs> and Michael, the man graded you, and you got a score of Ten out of ten. I think he did it the best though. I think both the girls were like, oh, based on previous experiences. Yeah. Have a so they just judged us based on some guys that did them wrong. Stereotypes too. Uh, yes. A lot of stereotypes going on with race her and things. Yeah. 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 I think the ladies were going more off of looks, and he was going more off like knowledge. You know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She knows his stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank well, you. I was still right going based off the looks. So <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. that. Was so wrong, I got nine out of ten. So. Yeah. All right, guys, like the motherfucking video. God damn it, please, 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 please. <laughs>